So about One Piece from Red. So I recently watched this movie from, you know, uh, my laptop stand in the movie theaters because, well, reasons. But yeah, I watched it and even though it was kind of <laughs> kind of a bootleg, it was still nice to see. And I felt like I was in the movie theater by myself. But either way, as a diehard One Piece fan, if you don't know, One Piece is my favorite anime right next to, you know, <laughs> another show. But yeah, and when it comes to the movies, I haven't seen all the movies. The ones I did see was, um, I'm going to listen to the video later on. But yeah, and I... I added One Piece Red to the, you know, the watch this in the movies, and I could quite say as a One Piece fan, it was interesting. Of course, I'm not going to do, like, major spoils in this video because the movie did just come out in my country, you know, in the U.S., and so you might want to check it out. But, yeah, I'm just going to talk about, you know, a spoiler-free review of it and my thoughts and, you know, what I thought about the whole movie in general. So let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So first off, I'm going to say right now, if you're going to for action, uh, mystery characters, you know, different world building and stuff, yeah, you're going to be thrown off a little bit because it's definitely a musical film. <laughs> because if you don't know the plot of it, basically, you know, Uta, which is the main, how can I say it's not spoiling, the main focal point of this movie. And uh, she is, of course, Shank's daughter is revealed in the trailer and stuff. And she has this gift and her passion is to sing, basically. And then, so, of course, her one and true dreams to become a great singer and make people feel happy forever basically and that's kind of like you know her purpose in that so of course there's gonna be some songs and stuff which i'm about to get into in a minute but first i i will say i kind of felt like duped a little bit because like if you don't know i did a video talking about the announcement like a year ago or something like that and i'm thinking it's going to be about uh basically you know shanks and his crew backstory or something like that how they form and stuff but nah it, it, they switched it up a little bit because you know this is a movie it has some like some canon some non-canon stuff mixed into it so of course he's not going to go that deep into the story telling yet yet at least but no it was about his daughter and you know and how she basically became involved in luffy's life and his life and then how brought in a whole new character basically and showed how she affect the world and then that we never knew of so going to the movie with open ears and stuff it amazes me how one piece still continues to deliver it on every level they can and bring out new stuff in their caliber man because i went in legit felt like i was listening to a whole concert and stuff and tell me why tell me why uta every song she sung was amazing holy bro from the action the opening the sad songs i was like man this song's a heat man this, this song's a banger and i was like let me find a place in that because she's definitely one of my new favorite j-pop artists now and like bro it's just oh my god i gotta listen to more of her stuff man what's up man she, she she is fly and i was like okay and here's the thing with me here's the thing with me so I, if you don't know i don't like musicals at all <laughs> i really don't see the only one that like a session i like is you know when i was growing up was like you know high school musical camp rock and and some of those movies like jump in and stuff but that was basically it. and after that like when cartoons does like musicals i hate it like especially nickelodeon ones like spongebob like later on and did musicals like see the early ones it was nice and stuff but like new new ones like it's really necessary and stuff okay you know what <laughs> i'm getting off track but anyways i don't like musicals like that but this film I happened to enjoy every song she sung because I guess it flowed with that. all the crazy stuff that was happening with the plot and stuff, you know, it flowed and the tone of the song match what's going on and I love how they did that. I don't know, I feel like I was getting like Broadway vibes, like it's going to watch like be like immersed with, like different songs and stuff. Now as far as the characters, it did bring and include like the worst generation, like they included some of the pirates and stuff and then they also included Luffy crew because they went to the concert and then in the beginning of the movie and stuff. Characters in the show, there was like no new characters besides Uto of course course you know at least that i remember but they did they did include like a lot of characters like i remember some marines got involved even some admirals i was like oh that's getting, getting kind of crazy and stuff and yeah they included like a, a whole lot of characters in this surprisingly short movie like this movie is like an hour and like 20 some minutes bro but they included like a lot of characters here and they used them actually quite well like for their purpose and how their characters are in the show they including that in the movie and new circumstances that happened in this you know movie it was pretty cool to see i say for his animation wise too like come on do i have the same thing animation it's a one piece film goddamn with the new wano animation and stuff which is i still consider new of course <laughs> and then with you know the new movie qualities and stuff man oh my god the animation was beautiful the straw has got their scene man when they was like fighting different enemies and i can't even talk about how uta like legit broke the sound barrier and broke the animation stuff go like bro they switched from cgi to 2d animation to like it flowed perfectly to the vibrant colors of the, the visuals like 10 out of 10 bro i felt like i was like watching it i felt like i was like a theme park or something like that like just like i said going to different like colors and stuff it was so beautiful to watch I felt like i was like memorized like in a psychedelic high place it was it was so nice man i want to i want to know what the budget with this movie was because you know one piece has like shit ton of money and stuff so i just know they went 
buck wild with this movie, and uh, you can tell in your experience of watching it. Now, is this my favorite One Piece film? No. And I went into it knowing that it's probably not going to be my favorite, of course, but I knew I was going to enjoy at least some of it. But I enjoyed more than I thought it would, and, you know, I, that was good. But let me tell you all the One Piece films I watched. So, I didn't actually watch them. It's like legit 12 of them. I watched the Baru Island one. I, I forgot the name. I'm probably butchering the name so bad. I watched that depressing, dark ass film, man. That film was something back years in depression. And, yeah, I watched that. I watched the um, film Z. With, I think that's the name. I watched that with the, um, the old purple hair admiral. I didn't watch Stampede. I know, I know, I know. Calm down. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I plan on watching, but I just, I wouldn't watch it and amazing stuff. <laughs> and I also watched Strong World, which is another great movie as well. But if I pick my favorites, I'd probably say Film Z and The Barren Island. I think that's the name of it. But yeah, I thought those would be my favorite. And I'll probably rank uh, Film Red at like at least top five. Probably number four because I got Strong World above it because, you know, the old time skip vibes is, is immaculate and stuff. But, yeah, um, Baron Island is probably uh, number two and then Z is probably number one because that, oh, my God, that movie was like prime one piece, bro. It just, like, checked all the boxes of what makes the movie great and the writing was too damn good in that movie. So, yeah, go watch that movie. In terms of Red, I feel like that is a great new one piece movie. Uh, like, that stuff, I'll probably expect a little bit more, especially, you know, through it, like, the hype and stuff like that. But if you hate musicals, then you probably not going to like this movie. And stuff. Yeah, like, I I think this is a good movie and you will like it the action and stuff was surprisingly amazing as well too and i always say that the antagonist in this film you kind of be surprised but i'm not gonna spoil who it is but yeah i thought that person was an interesting antagonist and i see their viewpoints in life you know how they feel about pirates and how they feel about you know the marines and stuff and the people in general interesting interesting viewpoint and i must say that character drips in this movie was like Damn, that bitch is a heat. Every costume design, character design was nice, man. Hey, order know how to get some drip characters in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Also, if you're going to this film, like, learning more about Shanks and his past, you're going to learn about him and his daughter, Yuta, relationship, and that's kind of pretty much it. And you're also going to learn about Luffy's backstory in a way, and how, like, there's childhood friends, because if you don't know, that was in the trailer, and plus it was in the uh, One Piece episode that came out, and they did like movie episode-ish, so yeah. Uh, it was definitely interesting, I like that part in the uh, film too, and the episodes, you know, added like a bit of an emotional touch to it, so if you want to watch the episodes first, go ahead, I recommend it, because it adds more oomph to the movie too. So yeah, that's my uh, thoughts about One Piece Red, it's definitely a good movie and a good experience watching it. I won't say it's the best One Piece movie, of course, and I won't go in thinking that it will be, so um, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and also, if you don't know, that was a 10 out of 10 song performance by Uta. Every song, I need to find a place ASAP, because I love Uta, I love her singing, she's a great character. You know, I'm finna go vibe out in the car now to Uta's songs. I'm out, oh, 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 oh.